Hello there, Sev here from Three Counties Motorhomes and welcome to this familiarisation video for the Volkswagen T5.1 cab area. Now, of course, there are a variety of specifications for uh, this generation of vehicle. This is just a generic video guide, so your cab may have more or less features than is represented in this video. This video, of course, just designed to give you a familiarisation so that you can use your the main features of your vehicle, at least, uh, where applicable. So let's get into it. So first things first, if you have a vehicle with manual windows, then the winder will be somewhere here. And if they're electronic, then you'll have two controls just here. Past that, we can see here we have a lock and unlock button for the cab doors and then we have the electric mirror controls here so we can use this to rotate to either the left or the right mirror and then wiggle the joystick itself to adjust the mirror position. The centre lower position here is the heater element for demisting the mirrors and the 12 o'clock position here will actually fold them in electronically if you have that particular feature. Just here we have the vehicle lights control, we have off side lights and headlights. When in the headlights position, just pull the control out to engage your rear fog lights. Now, if you have front fog lights as well, then there will be two positions to this control when you pull it out. The first position will be front fog lights and the second will be the rear fog lights. Here we have your headlight angle adjustment. And then on the steering column, the right hand stalk is for your wipers. The intermittent delay can be chosen with the rocker switch on the top. The left hand stalk is your indicators and parking lights, as well as also flashing for main beam and pushing away to toggle the main beam on or off. Now, if your vehicle has cruise control, you will also have a set and resume toggle or rocker switch here on the end and a, a rocker very much like this on the top as well for turning on or off the system and also pausing the cruise control function. Here in the central area, we have a um, area for an entertainment unit. Now, this can vary wildly. This has had an aftermarket unit fitted here and a cubby hole at the top. You can have uh, the standard Volkswagen unit uh, or all manner of different things. But basically in this area here will be an entertainment unit of some sort. Below that, we have the ventilation controls. Now, this has the temperature select on the left fan strength in or fan power in the middle and fan position on the right and then we have two buttons here one for air conditioning toggle and one for air recirculation toggle if your vehicle does not have air conditioning in the cab then this will just be one big button for air recirculation the gear stick is just here this particular vehicle is a six-speed manual and reverse on the manuals is a pull collar up then over and to the left of first gear as indicated if you have the automatic then of course this will be an automatic gear stick just here instead hazard warning lights are here and if i pull out this tray we have the cup holders now, the cup holders here are sprung loaded and they break for a pastime. They are uh, a well-known weak point of the T5 vehicle. Now, they are designed so that you can, by hand, one hand, just insert a cup and it will open up. And then when you take your cup out, they will automatically close. But unfortunately, um, they're not up to the task on the long term. If you use the cup itself to lever open the uh, sprung loaded jaws here, then over time that can cause these to twist and move and eventually break. Also, the spring tension can be somewhat powerful. And if you let them close on their own accord, when you remove a cup, then they can eventually break due to that repeated impact. So I do re uh, recommend that you use a two-handed technique, one hand to open and close the uh, sprung loaded jaws and the other hand to, of course, place or remove the cup. You also have a 12 volt socket just here as well. Now, the good news, if you do have the cup holders break, even though these are older vehicles now, you can get replacement drawers quite easily. On the dashboard, we do have a couple of buttons on this instance. We have the... Um, uh, rear windscreen demister just here and an ASR toggle button here. This is basically a stability system that stops unwanted wheels slip and spin and uh, 
it, that's perfectly fine and obviously very handy in normal road driving but if you are in a muddy field or something like that having some wheels slip and spin can help you maintain momentum when you're trying to get out of a muddy patch <laughs> this system will stop that happening so that can cause you problems so you can disable it if you do need to there is a lockable glove box just here and some netting underneath for other documents and so on up above, we do have a glasses holder here. If you have a Volkswagen California, you'll have the California control panel just here. And please see our video guide regarding that. And then here we have your dome light and map light controls as well. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. We have typical car features for the rest. Now, uh, this vehicle has the um, has an aftermarket entertainment unit, as you can see, and that's what this is here. That's an aerial being fitted for the aftermarket unit. Otherwise, there can be a very, very thin line, and I don't know if you can see it in the video. I'm going to try and see if the camera will focus on it. No, it's unable to, but just where you can see, you can see this little line here. That is uh, a very thin line, and that is the aerial for the uh, standard factory unit, should that uh, still be fitted. And there we go. That about wraps up the video guide for the cab area of the uh, Volkswagen Transporter T5.1. I'm Sev, I hope you found this video useful, thank you very much for watching.